Now, in the past, only professionals had access to high-end displays that were capable of reproducing accurate colors and the calibrators that they need in order to make sure that they stay producing accurate colors. These days, with IPS panels available at very reasonable prices and low-cost color calibrators, such as the Color Monkey here, even the average user can have a fantastic experience with their monitor at home. So what is color calibration and who is it for? Color calibration is a pretty simple process. You take a sensor and you run a calibration wizard. So we're going to be doing that with the Color Monkey later. We'll show you how to do it. And what it does is it takes in what colors are being output by the display, and then it applies a profile that corrects it and makes sure that it's as close to true to life as possible. This can be beneficial if you're a photographer, a video editor, uh, someone who does print, or photos or graphic design, anything like that, or even for the average Joe user gamer who just wants a better overall experience using their computer and wants to experience the content that they're seeing the way it was meant to be experienced. Because I guarantee you, whoever created it was using calibrated equipment. Now there's a wide variety of options available, everything from the basic color monkey we've got right here, which is suitable for your average user or your amateur user who does a little bit of graphic design. You can calibrate your single monitor. It doesn't use nearly as advanced a technology for the sensor as something like an i1 Display Pro. So this is great if you're going to be setting up a lab or if you want to do quality analysis on monitors that are coming off a production line. Now they're both suitable for even projector calibration. So you just take it, fold down the little stand, throw it on your table, point it at the projector. You can set it up that way. And they both have ambient light monitoring as well. So it means you not only set it up once in the light environment you're in, but as you know, day turns to night or you turn lights on and off, it will maintain the colors as accurately as it can by keeping it plugged into your computer. Now I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to set up one of these color calibrators. Step one is to plug the USB cable into the port. Now step two is where things start to get really complicated. We downloaded the latest software off the X-Rite website, and now we have to choose, once we run it, whether we want to profile a display or a projector. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to go with the easy setting, although particularly with the i1 Display Pro, there are lots of additional advanced professional settings. All right, we're going to click Next. We have to measure the ambient light, so it's important to have the Color Monkey sitting somewhere near your display so that it can get a good idea of what your ambient light level is. That way it can make sure it's getting things as accurate as possible. So that takes only a moment. We go ahead and click Next again. Now we place the Color Monkey on the display. So we don't want to have the ambient diffuser covering it. We actually use the counterweight, and I'm just going to move around here, you guys. We use the counterweight to make sure it doesn't go too far. Turn this around and put the lens directly on the screen. Don't worry, there is a non-scratching cover here, and it gives us the exact location where it wants us to put it, right there in the middle. After that, we click Next again. Now that that whole thing is done, all we have to do is save the profile name, which apparently takes a moment. Very complicated profile here, guys. And there we go. Your display's color capabilities may change over time. This is true. For this reason, particularly for cathode backlit displays, for this reason, Color Monkey can be set to automatically remind you to reprofile your display at regular intervals. It is also particularly true of projectors. Remind me to reprofile every however long you want. Click Next. Make sure that you're setting up the Color Monkey to monitor your after or your monitor your ambient light. And you can actually see a quick preview of the before and after, which is very dramatic, actually. Let's get the camera to come on in real close here. And I want to show you guys how different it is. Now, I know that you know, it won't be 100% you know, exactly the experience I'm having. But you can see the skin tones are much more natural. She loses her greenish tinge in the after shot. And the building behind her loses the yellowness and looks more like a sunlit building once we move into the after. So even a nice IPS panel like we're using here today can benefit from using 
a color calibrator, even an inexpensive one. So I think that pretty much wraps up our conclusion. It's not that expensive anymore. You get visibly better results, even if you're an amateur user. And, ah, yes, it's a great value compared to pre-calibrated displays, such as the one that's actually right over there, the uh, ASUS ProArt. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that monitor costs the extra amount over what we're paying for the display plus the color monkey. The important thing to remember too, guys, is the color quality matters. You can't take any cheap monitor, throw a color calibrator on it, and expect it to perform the same as you know a $500, $1,000 monitor. So thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.